Hi, and welcome to Weightlifting Program Mistakes. It's a lecture series where I'm going to be going over common weightlifting mistakes, misconceptions, and errors that I see in weightlifting programming that I often have to address as a tutor and educator. Um, so, we've already gone over in lecture one uh, frequency. We talked about frequency, so not training the smash and clean and jerk enough. In today's lecture, we're going to build on that, and we're moving on to not enough strength work, which is sort of like the other side of the coin to that, if you want to think about it that way. So not enough strength work. What do we mean by strength work? Let's start with the simple bits. I mean things like squats, pulls, deadlifts, push presses, overhead presses, rows, exercises that develop your ability to generate maximal forces. Why is strength work important to Olympic weightlifting? Well, Olympic weightlifting might be technical, but it's still a strength sport, okay? If you have two weightlifters of similar skill, um, or sort of an equal kind of skill level, the stronger weightlifter is going to snatch and clean and jerk more weight, okay? There's also the concept of having like what you might call a strength reserve, which means like you can have this buffer for you to do more safe and effective weightlifting training, okay? So to give you an example of that, imagine doing three sets of two cleans, uh, 100 kilograms when you front squat 150. It's pretty easy, right? It's not the end of the world. You can stand them up pretty easy. As long as you've got a you know not terrible deadlift, it's not the end of the world. Uh, on the other side of that, try doing three sets of two cleans at 100 kilograms when your front squat is 110 kg. That's friggin' hard. That's, that's really hard because you're sort of squatting. Every time you stand up that clean, you're squatting close to your maximum attempt. So you don't have that strength reserve. It makes the individual weightlifting sessions so much more fatiguing. So having strength for weightlifting allows you to get more productive, specific training in as well. How little strength work is too little? So it tends to depend on your training age and your body size, and we're gonna go into that in different lecture series. But a good rule of thumb is that most weightlifting programs should have at least some form of squat, pull, and overhead strength type work at least once per week. And I say at least because this is the bare minimum. Ideally, you'd be doing a lot more than that. Um, and when I say strength type sessions, this means moderate to hard sessions in which the goal is to overload the movement and build strength, okay? So squatting up and just doing a single rep at RPE 7 doesn't count as a real strength session, you know? You're not really doing anything that's going to overload or build strength in that movement pattern. I'm talking about doing 5x5s, 3x5s, 4x4s, 6x3s, okay? Workouts that give a good amount of intensity and volume and really push that, like, characteristic, okay? They're going to build up your squats, your deadlifts, your pulls in a meaningful way, right? So these are going to be sessions that do add some fatigue to your training. If your program doesn't have at least this amount of strength work, it's likely going to leave you with a strength deficit long term. I've had lifters come to me complaining that they've hit a plateau, that they can't get any further, thinking that there's some technical issue, when in reality, they just need to get stronger. Like They just need to be significantly stronger to lift the weights that they plan to lift. So this is, just, this is something you need to have in your program to build long term success. Practical recommendations. Uh, so I want you to aim to perform strength movements with good intensity at least once per week. Typically, I'll have my athletes perform around two to three times per week with varying intensities and volumes. So it might look something like, I've got an example here, Monday, back squat three by five at RPE eight, snatch pull three by three at 100% of your snatch. Wednesday, front squat three by three, RPE seven. Friday, push press four by five at RPE eight. Saturday, clean deadlift, three by four at RP eight. And this is gonna be on top of all the specific weightlifting work, which we've already sort of looked at in that first uh, lecture, as well as assistance exercises. So this is only a rough example to demonstrate the concept. I'm not saying that this is exactly what you have to do. This is literally just a, a demonstration, just an example of how you might plug these things in. But this is the kind of strength work that you want to be adding to your athletes' programs or you want to be adding to your own program. So keep that in mind. And that's the biggest mistake I see solved. Make sure you've got plenty of strength work mixed into that program on a regular basis. If you join next week, we're going to be covering mistake number three, which is the complete other side of things, which is going to be adding in too much strength work. So this is where people like Mark Ripito and Louis Simmons get it completely wrong about weightlifting. So we're going to be looking at what that means and why too much strength work can actually be detrimental to your performance. So I will see you then. And yeah, have a good one.